Hello, students. Mr. Blay here. I uh, apologize. I'm not feeling well, so I don't want to have you miss this project because um, I consider it a two-class project. And if you don't get it started today, then it's going to throw off the whole timeline. So let's do it. Um, this project is the hybrid card creatures. There's yeah, that little thing in the bottom there. An epic trading card making art project. Um, I will actually be taking you, the cards that you're going to make today, um, photocopying them so that they're uh, in color. I'm going to shrink them so they're more playing card size and laminate them for you. So they'll have a nice like plastic coating. But I got this uh, idea. It was inspired uh, for this project from the worldwide phenomenon of Pokemon. Um, I didn't know too much about Pokemon. So I started doing some research on it. And uh, let me share with you uh, things that I learned. One, Pokemon was created back in 1995. Uh, that's a while ago for you guys. Um, and it was created in Japan. Um, this gentleman, Satoshi Tajari, uh, actually made, uh, created Pokemon for Game Boy. Uh, this is like old school handheld video game, um, kind of like the Nintendo Switch of today that you can, um, you know, play in the car and stuff. Uh, he was inspired by his love of collecting insects and uh, making video games. Uh, so I uh, started looking at you know, on video games, and uh, yeah, even though they started back in 1995, they're still going strong and they're super popular. So they are the second highest grossing video game franchise of all time. Um, grossing means how much money you're bringing in, and franchise is kind of like a company. They're bringing in a lot. Um, they've sold over 368 million copies and one billion mobile downloads. And I was like, wait, who's the first highest grossing video game franchise? Mario Bros. Um, as I was looking, uh, it looks like Satoshi didn't actually draw the characters, though. I'm like, what, what's up with this? Um, he invented it, but it was this uh, guy, Ken Sugimori, as the primary, I'm moving myself over here so you can see the sketches, was the primary character designer, uh, the art director for Pokemon. Uh, so he was in charge of a team of artists. They created the first 151 Pokemon. Uh, he would redraw those characters until he was happy with them. He was always the he always made sure he was the final person to draw the card too. So thank you, like one of his artists. Okay, I invented Squirtle. Ken would uh, look at the picture. Okay, let me just change them. So now I'm going to make the head a little bigger. I'm going to switch this around a little bit. He would draw the final card, and that's the one that got out put out. Ooh. All right. So the cards themselves, um, they came out after the video game. So 1996, took about a year. Um, this is Japanese though, so they were only printed in Japanese. Um, so yeah, if you look closely, I love the fact that like you, here's your English version that we're used to, but there's your uh, Japanese version because that's where we came up from. Um, since creating those Pokemon cards, look at this fact here. As of March 2020, there have been 30.4 billion cards sold worldwide. I think that just shows something to the power of art that, you know, Ken, Satoshi, they got together, they came up, you know, they got this great idea. They start drawing characters, had a bit, put them on cards. And literally these cards have been sold around the world. Billions of them, like 30.4 billion. That's just epic. So who you never know what's going to happen with your artwork that you, it could take off and become a worldwide phenomenon. Um, so these cards are wicked collectible. People like they like to get these cards that are hard to get. They're rare cards. There's my son Declan with his uh, Pokemon collection. So I started looking up. I'm like, all right, what 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 do some of these rare cards go for? These are some of the heavy hitters. Um, this rare gold star holographic Rayquaza sold in 2020 for $19,100. Like, that's amazing. This card is so collectible. So, uh, people want it so bad. If somebody was willing to pay $19,000 for one card. It's it higher than that, though, folks. Um, it's holographic Charizard back from like 1999, first edition, though, for $5,000. I was in $650. That's a ton of money. Um, and now, I mean, 
bars are that you may have gotten in your Happy Meal, probably not going to food for that expensive. These are cards that, look at this, came out in 1999. They're old, they're rare, they're probably hard to get, and um, wicked expensive. Now, here's the most expensive one that I found. Blastoise sold for $360,000. That's more money than I pay for my house. So somebody who's pretty rich paid more than I paid for my house to buy this card. Um, look too, it looks like it's in some kind of plastic case. Um, it's from 1998. They have like all this like information on it. These cards, it's amazing that these cards uh, are so sought after um, as collectibles. But let's get into your art project. I call this one the hybrid card creatures. So you may be like Ash over there in the corner. What's a hybrid? I don't even know what you're talking about, Mr. Belay. I'm going to move myself out of the way here. Um, hybrid's a mix of different animals that makes a new animal. This, this does exist in real life. I mean, there's a, a liger which is a combination of a tiger and a lion. Um, but most of the times you can't, we haven't really figured out how to crossbreed animals. We're just going to pretend for this card series though. Maybe you figured out how to splice DNA. You can make an insect. You can mix it with a fish. You can mix it with a mammal. You can mix it with anything. Let me show you my examples for cards that I made. All right, I call this one the Manta Bee Bat. Hybrid of three animals. So if you look, we got praying mantis. That would be those long, like, pincher arms. Also little mandibles, like little pinchers that it bites with because those are really strong. Um, a honeybee. So you get that body of a bee, uh, a bee head on there. Look at the stinger. Um, and then I was like, you know, let's switch this up. Let's go bat wings. So those wings, not the normal insect wings. I'm going to go with, like, cool-looking bat wings on it. Um, now, the back of your cards, you want to put some information on there. You got to include what animals were combined to make your hybrid. I use praying mantis, a bee, and a bat. Special attack, got this kind of from the Pokemon thing where like they attack each other and stuff. Just think if your animal had some kind of cool attack, what would it be? Um, I made up one called a pinchy grip because it's got those mandible arms. Um, I mean, the praying mantis arms, mandible bait because praying mantis can bite really hard. Power sting for that honeybee. Um, the observations of creature. This is like you're a biologist. You're out there um, observing the creature's uh, habits, and you want to talk about it a little bit. This kind of just gives you a chance to be creative and come up with some like little cool thing about your animal. For my observation, I wrote um, this could be a dangerous creature for anyone who bothers it. It's, it just likes to pollinate flowers and make honey. So uh, there you go. Also, the creature name goes on the front. You can make up whatever creature name you want. I'm trying to combine the animals to make a creature name. The artist name, of course, is you. That'll be the back of your card. All right. Here's my next card that I made. My octopan wall. Oh, what the heck? That was too fast. Hybrid of three animals. We got a panda body. A narwhal, which is kind of like a seal with a unicorn horn. Really does exist. Um, I use that for like the bottom half, like this kind of with little speckles on it and that cool looking horn and an octopus for all those like awesome arms coming out the back so on the back of your card yeah i labeled panda narwhal octopus for my hybrid my special attack i made a cuddle. Ooh. uh the pokey poke this has got that horn my observations are this adorable creature lives in oceans and bamboo forests it's friendly and can make anyone feel better so, my friends, I want to see you create a hybrid card creature. My suggestion, draw in pencil, sketch it out, draw lightly. Um, if you look at my two cards, I then trace them in pen. I think that looks really good when they got the, like nice black outline. And then I colored them with colored pencil. I mean, you can color them with whatever you want. But I think colored pencil, you know, when it's nice and sharp, you can really get in there and um, get some nice detail. But you can use what you want. But yeah, so good luck. Again, this is going to be a two-class project. So I just expect you to start it to this class, you know, figure out what animals you're combining, put them together, get a good little sketch of a drawing on there, maybe start filling out the back, and then really nail it next class. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I'm going to photocopy these things, shrink them, laminate them, make some sweet playing cards. All right, students, so I'll get off now. Thank you so much. Um, good luck. Sorry I can't be here for the first class. And uh, I'll check you next time. Bye.